Hello everyone and welcome back. It is time for another unboxing video as you can see. This is YS8 Lacrimosa of Dana for the PS4. I see right there it says for home devices, which means it's for the PS4 one version, not the uh, PS Vita. Um, anyone that I've talked to before actually probably knows that I ran into a little bit of trouble trying to get this. Uh, I had it pre-ordered since the announcement. Um, like last year or so I believe um like last December I think um so when it was finally time to arrive um I checked the tracking wondering where it was it said it was delivered to my house it definitely wasn't there mm, don't know what happened no doorbell rang no one knocked at the door nothing so I had to get in contact with Nisa you know um NIS of America the, the, the company in charge of this one and um i emailed them i called them a whole bunch of times i went through the post office i called them i went in person um i don't know what happened that you know apparently it had gotten stolen like because it wasn't it wasn't hand delivered to anyone in the residence so apparently someone just picked it right up off wherever the mailman left it i guess Went through some trouble, calls, emails, you know, but I finally got another one. So here it is. Um, also, thank you to the people that finally did answer the phone at uh, NISA or NIS of America. They were quite helpful, even though it took me about 20 tries to finally get in contact with someone. No email response. Um, had to keep calling, calling until I got a response. The woman I spoke to was quite helpful though. She didn't really give me any problems. Um, so that's good. But I'm just glad I finally got it because I had this pre-ordered for so long and I was very upset at the, all this money paid for it. And look at it, isn't it awesome? I see why someone would want to steal this, but I cannot stand thieves. That's one thing I cannot tolerate. Ta-da! Let's see what's inside. The box is pretty cool too, right? Ooh. <sighs> but looking forward to the game for um, well over a year now, I believe. I was introduced to the YS series back in 2013, I believe. No, 2014 when I first got my Vita. And I, YS Memories of Salsita was one of the first games I had bought. It was great. One of my favorite Vita games still to this day. Um, and then I went back and played YS7 and YS Ultimate Falgana and YS um, Origin. I also have haven't finished that one yet. It was recently released for PS Vita and PS4. But let's get back into it. This is the soundtrack, which is one of the items that comes along with it. You can see the track list right there. Might be hard to see, but it, it goes 15 tracks, I believe. Okay. Put that back in the slot. Um, I played all the YS games for Vita, so I wanted to get this one for Vita too, but I had heard that the PS4 version was coming with extra DLC and that it also ran better. You know, performance issues and um, everything like that. I played the demo for the PS4, it ran pretty good, so I said screw it, why not? It was a little bit more, of course, but you know. Um, this is the game, day one edition. Of course, since it was a pre-order of the limited edition, it would be the day one edition too. Um, one of the other things, it's hard to kind of get this out, but here it is. This is the steel case. You know, the steel case, you could put the game in this case instead of the one it comes with. Or I might do that, or I might just have that there, just a collector's item of sorts. The next thing, right here in the center, hard to get out, but bear with me for just a few moments. Oh, okay. This is a pillowcase, I believe, of one of the characters, I think. I'm not sure, but I'll check it out. I don't want to open it right now, because then I'm going to try to be putting it back in the plastic, and it's going to be all annoying and frustrating. Even trying to get it back in here is a bit annoying, honestly. Ugh. 
They box this so close and tight. Warning, when contents are taken out, they will be mad annoying to get back in. <laughs> they should have that right on the front. Here we go. Next up. The YS Lacrimosa of Dana, or Dana, art collection. This is a little art book. It says the contents, main characters, opening scene, style changes, etc, etc. This is the main character, Adol, Adol Christian, which is the main character of most of the YS series. Like Ulta Fagana, Seven, Memories of Salsita, and this one, I believe. So like at least four of the games, he is the main character. I haven't played some of the other ones, so I'm not sure. This is Dana, or Donna, I'm not sure how they pronounce her name in the game. It looks like she's the one that's on the uh, pillowcase. I can tell by the hair. It shows DLC and stuff like that too. Loxia Von Russell Roswell. Shahsahad. Humble. Ricotta. Like the cheese. What? Gratika. Luminos. Dogi. Dogi is from, uh, he's from YS7 also, I believe, in Memories of Salsita. Or something like that. No, I think he's in, he's in one of them, for sure. Some other characters. Probably all new to the series for the most part. The stage. The map. Portraits. That's the art book. Pretty nice. And of course, then there is this. I don't know what this is really. Um, Ado and Dan Dana acrylic bookend set. I don't. I don't know what a bookend set is. Um, It's what's a book in? I don't even I don't even know honestly. I'm gonna have to Google that honestly. I've heard, I've heard the name before, but I don't seem it's not familiar. And last but not least is this book right here, which apparently is cool. It's night has a nice style to it and everything. This book is a replica of the Codex written by Adol Christian, recounting his time as a castaway on the Isle of Sir Seren. It is said that he used the Codex as a reference when writing Purpose of the Gate Sea during later years of his life. Please note that only the legible sections have been replicated here, as many of the pages in the original Codex have been damaged or lost to time. Oh, that's pretty cool. Honestly, this is a bit hard to read because of the, the handwriting or, you know, whatever, but I might check it out later. Supposed to be like a replica of Adol's book. And Adol, of course, the main character of the game. He's like a if you never played the YS series, he's um he's like an adventurer of sorts, you know. And he like he explores he was like a very famous um explorer in the uh, YS um lore. So it makes sense that he would write a book like that, you know? Hard to get everything back in. It's so tight, like really. But eh, I'm not gonna bother with this more. So everybody, 
the YS series is a series of JRPG, action JRPG series uh, games. I really like them. So I'm looking forward to playing this. I'm glad everything that was frustrating got uh, resolved for the most part. I'll be getting into this pretty soon probably. Just have another game or so that I have to finish up real quick. And as always, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more because more is on the way. I am hoping you guys like the video. And of course, if you liked it, then feel free to hit the like button. I gotta fix this still. Um, feel free to leave a comment. You got any questions about the YS series or this game or anything like that in general, go ahead and feel free to ask. Um, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And let's see if this will fit back on for now. Yes, there we go. Okay, so thanks for all and thanks for watching as always and adios.